Hi guys, welcome to another weekly edition of the Comic Book Syndicate. We're coming to you from the streets of New York today, and we're being joined by George Rizok in Saigon. George, how's it over there? Hi Mike, how are you? It's balmy here in Saigon for another week of comic book reviews. Books, of course, brought to us by Border City Comics. Michael? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, George, what's our first book today? Yes, Michael, our first book today is uh, by Kevin Smith, The Green Hornet. Green Hornet, perfect. Okay, well, uh, people are saying that The Green Hornet, this is actually Kevin Smith's unused script for the movie that was never made. Uh, some people are saying that it's, it's, some of the dialogue is a little bit, uh, a little bit more modern than maybe it should be, and the artwork is a little bit too image style, but you know what? Let's not rely on ourselves. Let's get some people in the street. Uh, let me see if I see anybody right over here. What about this person? Oh, hi, excuse me. How are you doing? How's it going? And have you read Green Hornet number one by Kevin Smith? Yes, yeah, I. Right. So you read it? Yes, yeah, I. Right. Right. Well, it, was, it was all right? What was all right about it? Uh, yeah, it wasn't that bad, but uh, you know, it, it, it just, just didn't, it didn't really have a lot of flavor to it. No? No. No, no flavor, she says. No, no flavor. No. no flavor. No. So would you recommend that comic then? Uh, you know, I wasn't really impressed with the artwork, and uh, I gotta say, you know, I uh, I didn't really like the story too much. You know, it it uh, it cut to like this 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 past and then a present, and I think maybe graphic novel maybe, but it just didn't have it didn't have a lot of flavor to it. No flavor. So you would not recommend this comic then? No, no, I wouldn't. Hey George, over in Saigon, what do you think over there? Yes, Michael, here in the streets of Saigon, they're not just talking about the art and its lack of goodness. But let's hear what else they're saying about this fantastic, or not fantastic, Green Hornet. Let's see if I have someone. <laughs> right. What? Oh. Apparently there's no one here in Saigon. <laughs> Michael, I believe the next book we're going to is once again, the latest effort from the Marvel's Ultimate Universe. Ultimates. Some people here are saying that, wow, really, again? The fold-out cover, which was brilliantly eight panels long, paled in comparison to Brian Hitch's version. Let's see what people think here in Saigon. All right, let's do that. Hello. Hello. Hi. Do you read comic books? <laughs> yes, I do, actually. Oh, excellent. Did you happen to read the latest issue of Ultimate by Ultimate. Jeff Lowe? Actually, I did. Oh. I didn't finish it, though. And why not? Um, because the writing was awful. I'm not a big fan of Jeff Loeb, and this is no exception. Uh, <laughs> there, was a, there was a great part where Iron Man was talking about his cancer, and it was interplayed with dialogue about how crappy their ultimate universe is now, and it was just, I had to put it down. It was distracting. Well, you heard it here, Michael. Not big fans in Saigon. No. Back to you. Hi, Ma. What's that? Thank you very much, George. We're back here in New York and uh, uh, New Ultimates. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, people here in New York are saying that uh, besides being completely redundant, Jeff Loeb has written a story in which the narration has absolutely nothing to do with the dialogue. People here in New York are wondering why he's even employed by Marvel anymore. And you know what? Now we're going to join George over in Saigon to see what uh, people have to say there. <laughs> Hello, Michael. George. The sun is going down here in Saigon. <laughs> is it? Yes, it certainly is. Um, I believe we're uh, reviewing one more book this week. Yes, I believe we are, George. Which is the next one? Yes, the next book that we're reviewing is a long-awaited team-up of Doc Savage, Will Eisner's The Spirit, and Bob Kane's Batman. Wonderful artwork, an amazing book for all that I've seen and heard as the buzz is on the street. Let's check in with that buzz. Yes. Oh, let's check in here. Thank you, George. Over here in New York, people are commenting uh, uh, about how great the artwork in this uh, issue is, as well as the writing. I think it's pretty much universally praised here on the streets of New York. Uh, people have commented how appropriate it is to team up these three characters and in this first issue they get a really solid introduction. I think the only complaint is that unfortunately Batman is not in the story although he is on the cover. But you know what? For a different opinion let's go to some people in the street. 
is there anyone else here that's read first wave number one? Anyone? Oh, look, right over here. Look, what do we have here? How you, you read first wave number one? Yeah. Really, and what did you think of it? I, uh, you know, I gotta say, I really liked this one. You know, it, uh, it had a lot of gangsta flavor, which I, I appreciated. It had like a 1940s dialect, and I liked that. And uh, the characters were really good. And uh, yeah, you know, um, artwork was absolutely just fantastic out of this world. You know, so yeah, I gotta say, overall, you know, way better than that freaking Green Hornet thing. I don't even know what that was, but uh, yeah, I really liked it. So you would recommend it. Yeah. Excellent. So people here on the streets are into this first wave number one. George and Saigon, are you still there? Yes, Michael, I'm still here. Um, and I'm going to get an opinion for someone of this great book here on the streets of Saigon. Oh, okay, great. Hello, random passerby. Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? It's sun going down. It is going down here. It is quite nice, though. Yeah. Have you read any comic books in your life? I actually just read First Wife, number one. Excellent. Well, that's handy. And what did you think? I very much enjoyed it. I don't know very much about the spirit, and I think this is a very good way for me to get into it. Uh, I enjoyed the story. It was thrilling, and there was death and grave digging. And, and Let's see <laughs> if we can find someone else to review. Okay. Oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. This way, sir. Excuse me. Excuse yes, me. yes. Hi. I happen to have read the latest exciting new issue of the team-up of Doc Savage, Will Eisner's The Spirit, and Bob Kane's Batman. Yes, yes, I have, actually. Everyone here in Saigon reads comic books. Uh, I thought it was excellent. Uh, the artwork, I mean, absolutely great. Rags Morales, I mean, what a superstar. It's good to see him finally doing, like, a, another project, a uh, big profile project. And, you know, I'm looking forward to the next one. So I highly recommend yeah. you pick this up. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, sir. You know, i got to get back to doing more Saigon stuff, so see you later. All right. Well, there you have it. Thanks again, George, and that wraps up another week of the Comic Book Syndicate. We'd like to thank Border City Comics for providing the comics, and uh, now George is going to sign off in Saigon. <laughs> George, isn't it amazing that we can talk to each other like this? Absolutely, Michael. It's fantastic. <laughs> the magic of television. Thanks again, everybody. <laughs> the magic, right. Okay, yes, thanks. Uh, yes. yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry? Okay. No, uh, you know what, George? I'm losing you. I'm okay. losing you. All right. Well, okay. I got to thank you from Saigon. Thank you. Good day, everybody. Good day, everybody. <laughs> Why I have to go to Saigon? <laughs> uh, what about over here? Have you read New Ultimates? <laughs> yes, yes, I have. I walk very fast. <laughs> it was a gag. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs>